Wastahili kusifiwa umungu peke Adonai Wastahili kusifiwa umungu peke Adonai Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, good morning. I welcome you to Reverend Kenja Samonet this morning. The grace has been sufficient. He has given you another day. And I would like us today to look at the word of God from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 3 to 5. 2 Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 3 through to 5. The Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, though we walk in the flesh, we do not weigh we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exerts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Today, uh, my dear sister, my dear brother, as you go out, as you face the new day, I would like you to know the weapons of war that we wage war against. Yesterday we were talking that the principalities that we are fighting against and the powers that we are fighting against, this is not a battle of flesh and blood. It is against principalities and powers. And today we are saying, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not wage war according to the flesh, for we have weapons of warfare. Our weapons of warfare are able to, to pull down strongholds. Every stronghold in your life can be brought down by the spiritual weapons that the Lord has given us. Because we know it is not flesh and blood that we are fighting against. We are fighting against principalities. We are fighting against dominions. We are fighting against rulers. So if you have to do that, then we know the weapons of war that we have. They have the power to, do, to bring down stronghold. They have the power to bring down every argument that is against the will of God, that is exalting every wisdom that is exalting itself against the wisdom of God. The Lord has the power to bring it down. Today, as a man and a woman of God, go out there in victory. Do not be afraid. The Bible says 365 uh, times, do not be afraid. Today, I encourage you, do not be afraid. First the day, the Lord is with you. Give me an opportunity to pray with you as you go out. Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I honor you for my viewer, for my listener, and Jehovah Father. I release your blessings upon their lives today as they who's out of my father and go to go into their different places of work, different places of occupation. May your spirit unbind with them. My father, may you give them the weapons to bring down every stronghold of the, in their life, every argument that exalts itself above your knowledge. Father, we bring it down in Jesus' mighty name. We break every stronghold in their lives, my Father. Everything that is pulling them down, we break it now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, have your power, my Father. Have your way. Have your way, King of glory. My Father, have your way and make a way in their lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Have your way, my Father. Be exalted. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and give thanks. Amen. What's Amen. The healing? Kusifiwa umungu peke Adonai